What's going on today, bro? Ah, uh, man. Um, <laughs> you know, I hate. I don't hate, but I've been. I've always had my reservations and and things about chiropractors. But I need one. I need my man Vince to help me out. Um, so, as some of you may or may not know, I had surgery earlier this year. Um, I had torn my bicep, and surgery went smooth. However, something's not right. Um, you know, for a while I had to have my arm slinged up like this in this little mechanical device. So I was doing a lot more with this arm, obviously. And also I started training immediately with one side of my body because I wanted to, you know, keep circulation at a maximum because that helps uh, with the healing. So two things happened. I overworked this side, right? And this side got weird, I think, just from the positioning. So it feels like sometimes my shoulder kind of pops in and out of, out of position. It's so strange. But nonetheless, I've been having like pain in my shoulders. On this side is when I, like a lot of times when I lay down, you know, it just gets weird. And it feels like it's something with a nerve that shoots all the way up through here. Sometimes it go all the way down to my hand, but most of the time it's just right up in, it shoots from my back to my shoulder. And I have a knot in my back that's been there for a long time. Just never, I never had someone dedicated to just do session after session, just working on that knot because it hurts. Um, so that's an issue. This is an issue. I need to go see my man Vince. Vince is good at what he does. So um, this is gonna take a ride on down there with me. Y'all come on with me, and uh, we'll see what it is. Uncle T, you went, you went a few times. How'd it work out for you? Yeah, it's a good guy. Good guy. Okay. All right. So. So T holding this heavy camera every day, um, had to get get fixed up. So, you know, I'm gonna stop being a tough guy <laughs> and just submit and let the man do his job. So let's go. think is going on okay. is uh, some issues from my surgery that the distal partial distal tear so they, they did an incision here and here to reconnect my bicep to whatever's down here so at the time that I was they had me immobile yep I think just the positioning over time did something weird with my shoulder okay because I feel like and I don't know if this is a fact or not but it feel like it pops in and out sometimes Right, so it's a little pain with that discomfort. And on this side, I've had a knot for a long time, right? So um, like some impingement on a nerve at some point, but now it's like a knot. Like every time I would get a different massage therapist, they would feel it, they'd be like, holy shit. So, and I just haven't had anyone dedicated to work on it. Okay. But I think a combination of that still being there and overworking this side while this side was immobile. Right, yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'm bringing you gifts right now. Big shout out to Audible for hooking me up to hook y'all up, all right? You know how we do it. And the audio book that I'm currently listening to is by Miyamoto Musashi, and it's called The Book of Five Rings. Miyamoto was a samurai, and what he does is he gives accounts of a lot of his battles. But what I love about it is he goes into depth for each technique. Everything he does is deliberate, right? It has meaning, it has purpose. Not just the physical action, but the spirit behind it. This audiobook is about strategies, not just in combat, but in business. Business is like war. It's like a constant fight, a constant struggle, not a physical struggle, but a mental struggle, a struggle of tactics, um, things of that nature. And what I love about a lot of these philosophies of the Far East is 
they put so much intention and meaning behind everything that, that they do. This is probably the third, the second or third audio book that I've listened to from the Far East that appears to be about military strategies. However, this is heavily about business. These guys came up with these concepts hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago, but it's so prevalent to today. I highly suggest y'all check this out, especially if you have the mindset of being an entrepreneur, you want to be deeply rooted and have a deep, solid foundation, not just in what you're doing. You got to be good at what you're doing and excellent at either the services that you provide or products you provide, but you got to have meaning behind it all. It just makes everything that much more special. So check this out. Audible just launched their newest plan. It's called Audible Plus. With Audible Plus, you get Audible's complete catalog, including podcasts, audiobooks, you name it. Audible Plus connects you to tons of content that entertains, inspires, and it informs. Easy to find the right listen, whether it's comedy, romance, suspense, true crime, science fiction, that's my joint, or fitness and wellness. They got it all. Audible Plus gives members a chance to listen to and discover new favorites and explore different formats. Right now is the best time to sign up for Audible Plus because you, you're only paying $4.95 for the first six months. Come on, that's amazing. After your first six months, it's only $7.95 a month to download and stream thousands of audiobooks, originals, and podcasts included in the Audible Plus plan. So remember, y'all, go to audible.com slash haterproof or just text haterproof to 500-500 and let Audible be your playlist for life. We got you. Let's get it. This, this, this guy hurts over here. So um, when I lay down at night, I have to like put a pillow. I have to find a way to get comfortable to rest my arm, right? So. Or you feel it in the back. I feel it. Well, there is, it's a shooting. I can tell nerve pain, right? Yep. I can tell a nerve issue. This is a nerve issue. It's yeah. got that yeah. cool kind of nerve vibe. I don't even know how to right. explain it. No, no, that makes sense. But yeah. you, you can feel the difference between nerve and muscle or joint, right? This is something joint. This is nerve for sure. And okay. I, I'm pretty sure. It may not be coming from the back, but I think it's coming from the back because um, when I first did it, like like pinch that nerve, if you were rub across my back, my body would jerk. Yeah, it's sensitive, really sensitive. Very yeah. sensitive, right? So it's not like that now, but when they get on it, I can feel it, you know what I mean? And yeah. um, it, you know, it's there. And they've like, holy shit, every time. Okay. So I think that, once again, this is anecdotal. I right. don't know if that's why, but it seems like this it's compounded the, the issue. Okay. So yeah, so I'm submitting to whatever you want me to do. Okay. To everything but the neck. Yeah, I got neck it. thing. So <laughs> I got you. The popping in this shoulder is where. Mm. Where do you feel it popping? Can you tell? I don't know. I don't know. Just in there, and it doesn't happen. I can't tell you it's about that. It just happens at random times. That wasn't quite it. Not necessarily in the gym. Just random movements during the day. Random movement. Yeah. And I, I've been avoiding training my shoulders and much upper body because it hurts real bad afterwards, right? And uh, this kind of hurts, but I got on one of those machines the other day and it should wore me out. You know, you had me doing push ups and stuff like that, but I feel like it kind of helped. You know what I mean? What machines? Like the East End? The yeah. Mm. It's called New Fit or something. It's a newer one. Yeah. It, it's pretty good. They, they work pretty good, but. But anyway, um, I don't know. I'm I'm at your disposal for what you think I should do. Okay. All right. Let's check out. Um, can you take the shirt off for me? Yeah. And then let's. I want to have you on your stomach first. Okay. I just want to feel the backside of that right shoulder first. Okay. Does this wake you up at night? Uh. Sometimes, or it just keeps me from. Yeah. It takes me a while to get to sleep to get comfortable. Okay. Yep, you're right there. Right Do you feel there. anything in your right arm right now at um, all? Keep going. Well, no, without no. me touching. No. Nothing. Okay. No. Let's just get in here and see. I'm going to hold a couple of these spots, and if you get any pain down the, or okay. any of that sensation. So down, I'll tell you this. When, it, when it's getting worked on, yep. it makes me weak. Like, I feel weak. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it kind of drains me. 
Yeah, you're right in there. Do you also get when they're working on it in the past that feel that nerve feeling down the arm? No, no. no. Okay. It hurts like a mother, but it feels very necessary for some reason. Okay. Does that feel abnormal to you? Yeah, I mean, we're just feeling there's some adhesions in here. It's just kind of like scar tissue, right? It's just built mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. You can get it. There is a nerve that feeds down here that it mm -hmm. can compress the nerve. Mm -hmm. And if it mats that nerve down and then those muscles get activated and it tugs on that nerve, it can create pain or symptoms. Okay. Um, we're going to check a couple other things because you can have uh, nerve sensations into the arm from other things as well. Okay. So a couple of these areas I'm going to hold. If you get any pain down the arm or that nerve feeling, you tell me. Okay. So if you take a deep breath in, do you feel that area at all? Nothing. No. Okay. Go ahead and sit for me, Mike. So you feel nothing in the arm right now? No. Okay. Let's just see if any of this creates it. So I want you to tilt your head to the left. Yep. Any issues with that? I mean, I feel like the tightness. But Stretch? Do the arm this way. Again. Yep. Just tell me if you get any shooting into the arm. Okay. Right. I know my posture sucks. Well, the biggest thing that we talked about, like with shoulders, right? It's a ball and socket. You start to get anything pulling the shoulders forward, yeah. that ability to go up right. decreases. Okay. It's going to pinch the shoulders. It's going to create. Should I be trying to sit like this and stand like right? Yeah, the best thing you want to think about when you're talking about posture is a lot of people try to get postural changes from the low back, mm -hmm. you want to think about blades. So don't let that relax and get your posture from up top. If you try to get your posture from the lower, you're going to, you're going to turn on your low back muscles and it's going to hurt. Okay. It's going to feel like it's tight. Okay. You want to generate it from here. Okay. A lot of times it's opening up the front's going to allow you to do that. So we'll get into that today a little bit. We're going to open up some of that. I just want to feel some of these things in here. And there's no neck pain, right? You know what? Last night though, it was you know, this is, I had to do this, like last night was one of the nights when I had to just keep trying to like stretch it out and, okay. and get comfortable. I gotta, I gotta use my pillow that I use, it's gotta be like super soft and like flat, almost flat, you know? Um, I figured out a way to lay on my side. <laughs> I bunch up the pillow Yeah. and I have like some cover or something right here so I can go like this and it takes the pressure off of my shoulder. Got it. So. Yeah. Okay, let's just see some range of motion here. So just relax your arm. If you get any pain, you tell me. Right. Now, have you di truly dislocated this arm before? Where the shoulder's at? Okay. No. okay. Any pain if I push down there? No, okay. And the popping always hurts, you said? No, on this side. Okay. Not on this side. Okay. Okay, hold that arm like that. Right. You're gonna try and rotate it forward. This way? Yep. Okay. Go for it, yep. Any pain? Yeah. Where do you feel that? Just in, like, deep in Inside. There. Yeah. Okay, same thing. I want you to rotate backwards. backwards okay. Yep. No pain at all. No pain. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. That tells me something. Okay, so let's go on your back. You need my hands in any particular way? Nope. They're good right where they are. That hurts, but not, like, only because your finger's there. Okay. And nothing, you don't feel any pain going down no, anywhere? No. You also may you feel, feel like it. you're trying to choke me. <laughs> <laughs> and if you, you may feel it near the blade too. If you get anything down to the shoulder blade, tell me too. This is where all the nerves originate. So, all right, all right this is gonna be a little uncomfortable because I'm gonna go armpit. You ready? <laughs> all right, so drop your elbow. I feel like I'm be I'm about to be tickled. <laughs> It'll tickle for a second. It's gonna hurt. No. <laughs> Right. I, I gotta watch you do it, so, okay. so it's not a surprise. There we go. Okay. okay, so let your elbow drop. I wanna get in here and feel. And again, if, if you get any, I know this is not fun. Drop the elbow, try to relax it. <laughs> I know. Again, this is where the nerves feed in, so I gotta feel if the nerves are being entrapped in here. <laughs> is that more tickle or pain? No, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> okay. Good Lord. <laughs> it's like he's stabbing my soul. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, drop the elbow again. Just let it hang. There we go. And unfortunately, the stuff in the back where you're having that knot, uh -huh. it'll never be able to relax unless the front opens up and takes pressure off. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's look a little bit in the left real quick. 
and then just relax this one again. I'm gonna turn it. Is there anything that you can do like right now to test the shoulder? Like every time I do this, it hurts? Um, I need weight. Okay. I could do the motion, but the heavier the weight, I feel it. So if you just did the motion, it doesn't really bother it? No. Okay. And I could do some weight, but Again, a good thing to two, test one time is be able to do this and then send you out and load it up. Right. Okay. So we can do that sometime. We just okay. have to do it with the, the right timing. Okay. So we can pop in there and you can just lift whatever. Because right. I that machine I was telling you about, stimulate. What do you feel about those? I'm assuming it's just like an e-stim machine. Yeah, that's the basis of it, but it's it's more advanced than that, you know. But I, I said I'll tell you this. I used it before, like in Dallas a long time ago. Yeah. I had a knee issue. And they said, all right, let's try this. And they put it on me, around my, my, my quad or my knee or whatever. And um, they had me like do body weight squats and okay. then like a little bit of hack squats. And I'm telling you, it, it worked. The pain went away. So what I'll tell you is those things are, it's basically doing what the neuromuscular system does anyways. Uh -huh. it's, it's changing the electrical impulses right. and that's what muscles use to fire okay. so let's just say you're doing something like that and i'm firing the muscles that i want to work right. it'll help that okay. it's almost like if you put a, like you're doing a squat and you put a band on your knees it's going to activate the lateral hips right. it's a similar thing in that it's it's getting your brain to Forcing. recognize and fire something okay. so in that aspect yes they can help also calm down muscles they can help with pain a little bit okay. What do you do for shoulder mobility? I mean, do you do anything to work the mobility of the shoulders? I just, you know, I haven't been consistent lately, but I, I hang, that makes everything feel great. Oh yeah, okay. But, um, but no, nah, I don't do it. I, you know, I warm up through the motion, you know. Today, this morning, I did some jump rope and some shadow boxing, so that yeah, my shoulders kind of firing. Any pain while you're hanging? I mean, initially when you get in there, it feels uncomfortable, but then it, it feels good. Let's go. Yeah. You just can tighten it. Okay. So let's sit real quick. Let's look at the um, that knot in the back. So let's get into here a little bit. So you're going to start with the arm here, and I'm going to have you do this one. You're going to basically reach down to the wheels of that stool down there. Reach over. Yep. Right. Keep your torso there. Yeah, go ahead and just reach as far as so you can. don't turn. Don't turn and just reach, 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 reach. Good. Come on back. Same thing. Go ahead. And just the more you reach, the more you'll feel this tissue pull, is which we want to get. Good. Same thing. Same thing. And I want you to, as you reach, let the shoulder drop. So you're almost, re there you go. So you're almost reaching towards the ground and the shoulder's dropping. There you go. Good. Come back. Go ahead. Okay, let's do one more thing in the back of the shoulder here. I want you to start with the arm here. I want you to reach up, and then you're gonna turn like that. Does that bother you at all? Is there a pain doing that? No. Okay, so let's do that. Go ahead. Let's work the back of the rotator cuff here. Good. Good job, Mike. Oh. Good job, Mike. Two more. Two more. It's a little workout. It is. <laughs> One more. I feel like I'm about to start sweating. It's all right. Everybody sweats in here. Good. Relax. Okay, just move that arm again. Just see how it feels. Gumby. <laughs>
a lot of data he can get from that. So, you know, that's what we're gonna do next week. So that should be interesting. All right, it's time to eat. See y'all later.